Yeah, and for for those of you who are listening here and uh, don't see the footage, um, KG is recording from the toilet this episode. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Luckily, he's only filming the top half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the left hand on the mute button, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Number One Crew for Stakes with myself, Glenn, from Number One Projects, KJ from Crew for Deficient, and Hobar from Behind the Mistakes. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> I've not done one of those the last, to- the last two times I've tried. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really feel real that you actually made it through without <laughs> bursting out laughing or stumbling over your words or anything. Weird. Oh, the but nice. is still yeah. young. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was the first one to. I did the introduction on the first ever episode, and that that put the hook for the episode. Up. Hello and welcome to number blah 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 blah. blah. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we used to. Yeah, that, that's how we said hello to everybody for the first time ever. <laughs> ah, it's not one of the worst. The question is, do we have a new best? I mean, should we address the elephant in the room? Has someone knocked him off the throne? <laughs> oh, when it comes oh, to intros. Are we going there? Oh, oh. Well, this feels like choosing your favorite child and that sort of thing, that you don't really want to go into the details. Oh, fuck it. I think John's was much better. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Up your game, Timbo. <laughs> the best ever episode with Sharky. I'll bloody show you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't go around doing things without it having consequences. <laughs> it's like Tim's a fourth member of the team, isn't it? Because I don't think there's a week goes by when we don't say his name. Yeah, he is definitely the most mentioned person. He feels like a kind of a hang around. Uh, <laughs> yeah, every Friday night when I uh, ask you what the mentions were, KJ, I should automatically... I don't think we need to write Tim down anymore, do we? We, we just no. know he's there. I mean, maybe we should actively not mention him. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that would be possible, but yeah. I mean, they, they they made a whole uh, book and movie franchise out of that, just having a main character and uh, the name who shall never be spoken or something like that. So, I mean, <laughs> it's not like it's not been done before. <laughs> Are we comparing Tim to Voldemort now? Or Voldemort, whatever it's called. <laughs> Turg the Mork, all the works. I can't really get it to that. To line up, but yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah, but on the subject, huh? It's getting close. He's uh, posted a a short today, so we uh, we have a build off coming, huh? 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 Oh, no. yeah. So, are you ready? Have you uh, been harvesting scraps and buying things in advance so you can say, "Oh, it's just something I have laying around." <laughs> <laughs> Hiding it in piles under sawdust in the workshop and that sort of thing. I think I'm just going to recycle the footage from my first ever video and call that the scrapwood (laughs) build-off. Can you take two or three of the oldest videos and just mash them into a new one? Is is that a scrapwood? I mean, you don't have to build anything. You just uh, yeah, reuse old footage. That's not a bad idea. Nice. Most of my projects are built out of scrap wood, so. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, no, I have not started the new scrap wood build off, and I probably won't get to it for at least a week or, a week or two weeks, maybe. But so when is the official kickoff? I, I'm not sure if I even know. Six days from today, I think. So it's working, the first one. Work, or... Working on masks, because yesterday I saw him do a thing saying seven days (laughs) (laughs) big brain big brain (laughs) but i can't figure out when that is from when this goes out 
Well, that's three oh, days. I mean, <laughs> maths into the future. No, that's, that doesn't work. <laughs> Can't we say 1st of October instead? I don't think we can kick the belt off for him. <laughs> is it the 1st of October? Well, it is if the, your math is correct. Okay. Why don't we just uh, start it now? It starts today. Go! <laughs> <laughs> but it ends tomorrow. <laughs> Oh. Then I won't have time, I feel. <laughs> no. Um, it's, a, it's a bit hard because the, the last last time I just entered as a joke because I know you, you couldn't participate as a, as a foreigner. And then, of course, uh, well, he, he teased about, all right, I'm, I'm, I might send a T-shirt in the mail, but I didn't see any, so... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> But this year, he's opening up for international uh, competitors. So, I mean, I, I just... Some international. Yeah, you can't you can't win, can you? No, not the oh. civilized world. It's only the Commonwealth still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. Barely. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I mean, do I, do, do I want to build a table or a cupboard? I mean... That's been done before, but that seems to be the only thing that can. I don't think you do like building tables. Yeah, but that's You're the thing. Do I, do I want to build a fourth just to, just to enter a competition? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had three ideas for the build off, and um, I've gone off them all now, so I don't know what to build again. I mean, Howard, don't you have a dollhouse that needs some furniture? <laughs> no. You can make a really small table. Yeah. A really tiny river table. And the epoxy <laughs> cost. Oh, the world's smallest river table. That yeah. would be... Get it out of your system. Yeah, that's fuck, good. fuck, that would be a bit Might be one for you, KJ. You were complaining about the price of epoxy last week. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I could, I could do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, last project went big, now... Going small. But then, I mean, it, it's it's easy to make a small table, isn't it? But I mean, it, should it should it be functional? I mean, should you be able to sit down and have a tea party around it? And the crowd went wild. <laughs> 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 all right, all right mo it. moving on <laughs> <laughs> can i make a tiny table and people need to sit around is that what you just said or yeah yeah <laughs> okay yeah do it <laughs> could make I mean, a perf is, is, perfect is, is, replica of the last couple of winners couldn't you <laughs> not the actual winners the winners product the entries Both are good <laughs> yeah <ideas>. <laughs> 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 There's a, a really <laughs> small Welsh Thomas in wood. That could be really nice. <laughs> so what are you going to build? Can we can we tell? Is is that allowed? I think so. Yeah. Well, I I, I, I did a purge in the workshop um, about a month ago, and I have a pile of plywood left that. I need to put somewhere or get rid of, so I'm, I'm making something out of it, and I'm making one of these, uh, what's it called? Wall hangers, uh, shelf brackets for uh, for drills and a drill holder yeah, bits, and yeah, with a, with a drawer and some magnets and stuff for your bits and whatever, and chargers on top. But I, I mean, I. If you search for a DIY uh, drill holder, I, I mean, Google crashes. I mean, it, it's the most <laughs> common DIY project out there. So, I mean, it, it's not going to be a, a very competitive uh, input to the competition, I think. But it's something I need. So, yeah, can have a fun. Can you not, can you not make it like, um, you know, in the, the films? the matrix where you press a button and doors open and it's like the weapons room no but like I, I was thinking that the the drawer you just for the for the video where you present your uh, 
well, your, uh, your your piece to the competition or whatever it's called. I mean, you just slowly open that drawer and it's just filled with sawdust. And then you, you, you need to prime the judges, don't you? <laughs> Or maybe I could on the CNC make the 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 T logo for Turg Works and just like evenly spacing it out in sawdust and yeah, yeah. It'd be nice. Good idea. I don't think Tim gets to judge it though. Actually, that's the problem. Yeah, anyway. well, I, I I volunteered as a judge last year. They didn't even bother to answer me. Um, and haven't heard anything this year, so I'm starting to question the legitimacy of this competition, really. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You know, last year's winner, though, right? He's, he'll be a judge. Hmm. All right. Maybe I should tune my project for that. Yeah. Yeah. I've been chatting to Martin a lot lately. <laughs> 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 Yeah, like I say, I don't think I'm going to be able to get onto it for about a week and a half to two weeks. I've still got the big slab of chestnut in the uh, in the workshop. And you can't claim that to be scrapwood. It, it is scrapwood, actually. Well, then you're set. <laughs> but all I'm all I'm doing is turning it from scrapwood into not scrapwood by basically gluing it back together with epoxy. Yeah, but just to take some two by fours and use them as legs and claim it as a table and then take some pictures and then carry it out and you're done. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> it's funny, we've all we've all had um, shown a little bit of hate for epoxy in the past, but um, I came to the realisation yesterday that if I wasn't filling this piece of chestnut with epoxy, it would be completely unusable. You couldn't plank it. Or use it in any way. It's got so many cracks and holes and stuff in it that uh, it's an absolutely useless piece of wood without the epoxy holding it all together. Yeah. So I think that's a legitimate use for epoxy, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, epoxy ha has its uses. It's just that you shouldn't go overboard yeah. with it. I think. <clears throat> yeah, you shouldn't make a river with it. I mean that again. You should go overboard with it because it, it's mainly. I mean, it, it's it's a derivative of the boat building industry. So I mean, if, if you can't go <laughs> that's, overboard that's with it, what's yes. the point? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You, yes. You definitely. The project. Should, the projects should go overboard. Yes, that's definitely exactly. true. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got any ideas, KJ? Are you joining in? I didn't even remember that. Uh, the scrapwood will though for coming up until you <laughs> mentioned what it was you were referring to. So, no, I have no plans whatsoever. Good. <laughs> Moving <Sorry>. on. <laughs> a de a desperate build the last week then. <laughs> nice. I don't think I participated last year, and I mean, out of spite, I think I won't either this year. So, out of spite. <laughs> well, we're not included. I feel I feel like I'm not welcomed. Oh dear. You're always welcome, KJ. <laughs> An honorary entry. Yeah, I mean that's, that's those uh, competitions with prizes and that sort of thing. It's not I mean competitions is not really my thing. Uh, I want a lot alongs, not offs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never entered one of his uh, one of the build offs before. I'd quite like to this year just to show a bit of support. Yeah. It'd be nice. So, yeah. What else have you been up to, fellas? I don't know. Oh, where has uh, published a video? So that should, that's, should yeah. be a good place to start, I think. One of the the most clickbaity thumbnails so <laughs> far. <laughs> yeah, I was really pleased with that. I just I took a picture, uh, and then, of course, I marked the top and what should I do? All right. If you don't know, go with flames. <laughs> the, the, the third suggestion that popped up is like, all right, I have a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Burning the hell quarter. <laughs> it looks brilliant. Yeah. It looks 
really nice. Yeah, but it, <laughs> it's it's a bit sad when uh, when the best thing about the video is the thumbnail. <laughs> but, uh, I, it was a proper episode in the Hellquarter saga, I think. Yeah, yeah, that, that it showed some progress, cool. and you talked about the the future plans as well. Yeah, yeah. and I I think the this was one of the funnier experiences when I, I i i could not expect it to look that good but when i i turn it on and like all right yeah there's there's some red lights there as expected and then i switched the light off in the workshop and it's like oh, this <laughs> looks so good i mean it's a i mean if it was just a lamp that would be perfect i mean if you if you'd have it in the background just glowing ominously red it would be nice yeah it looks really <laughs> stage ready I mean, that's what you want to see on stage. Well, oh, yeah, the show is going to start. I can see the hell corner yeah. is glowing. <laughs> yeah. Can you make it pulse? You know, one one of the first comments was a guy who said that, oh, you should use these W LEDs because they are programmable. So you could not just change the color, but you could also make them uh, make patterns or whatever. So you could have them like... Uh, glow to the music or what whatever so and that's an easy swap you just need to basically buy some other leds and just swap them in i think it's an hour work or something well not Ooh. not counting in the, the programming and so on but uh i know some people who enjoy that so <laughs> you can outsource <laughs> the, the boring part <laughs> uh, put that on the list for the next version instead i, I was thinking uh, having lights behind the recorders, but I can't really decide on what kind you would like. So yeah, I don't really have a good suggestion what to do. Strobe. Uh, yeah, or, or light them up from inside. So you see the light coming out from the hole. So yeah, it's a lot of smoke machine. Possibly. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you hit the nail on the head there, Glenn. Um, that, that's one of the things that I've, I've really been thinking about. And I, I now have found that they make these really small smoke machines that are based on the, the same mechanics as they're using these vapes. And that means that I can actually have a smoke machine integrated without it taking too much room or you need a big container for liquid. And of course, with a perforated front, you could have like smoke just pouring out through the holes and the red light and so on so uh, that it's just gonna happen at some point but <laughs> yeah i've been thinking about the recorders as well because when i designed it i, I left a 10 millimeter gap at the back mm. so i know i can have a strip of leds there to backlight them but if i put red in it might be too much so yeah, yeah maybe i should have some strobe lights or something that can just come on at random Oh yeah, that's, that's a big effect. You bow and you see the recorders, and then it yeah. goes away. Yeah, that could work. That could work. This thing's getting out of control, isn't it? <laughs> Has it ever been in control? That's no. Honestly, yeah, yeah, that's maybe that. the first version, but this one, no, no, no. It's uh, extra everything. I'm, I'm, I mean, you, I have been thinking more and more about that lately. I mean, you have AA meetings for alcoholics but i know what is the group where where me and martin from wintergatan is just going to show up and yeah it's been three days <laughs> yeah, yeah but you, you were talking about the the planned bellow system uh, and that re really sparked my brain because there's so many paths to go down there and i mean if you had the the way that you blow into a recorder is a way to make the sounds. I mean, you you choose uh, how to do it. So if you have bellows that you can change uh, the speed of, you can get those wow 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 sounds just from yeah. how the air goes. But I mean, that would be <clears throat> stupidly uh, more uh, complicated than it needed to be. But yeah, it would be um, really fun to have like a three-phase system. So if they're all in sync, then it's a constant flow. But if they're out of sync, then you get different harmonics. And yeah, I don't know. It's, it spiraled me way off topic. And I feel like this 
could pro- possibly kill you. <laughs> I, I am very glad that I, at some point, designed a lot of room uh, at the back, but also thought that any ballast system should be something that you attach. So you can swap it out because it's going to be uh, totally mad professor by back there. And um, I've been thinking of that as well. Um, of course, <laughs> I still have that pedal organ behind me that I got for the sole purpose of looking at the ballow systems. And I realized that maybe the easiest is the if you have those the fireplace blowers. I mean, it's basically yeah. two pieces of wood, some leather around, and there are two holes and a leather patch, so once you squeeze it, of course the leather patch closes one hole, but once you open it up, it's a tiny vacuum, so it just lets air in. So it's a, it's a very simple form of valve. And then I thought, if I could make that very easily, and I can put two or three of them side by side, and of course to, to make the move out of sync, I was thinking, can I make like uh, like a camshaft or something for like for a car so you just have a motor at the end who just spins them and then they're going out of sync but what you're mentioning now is of course if i want to adjust how much out of sync they are then they need three separate motors but i mean that's just buying two more motors out of aliexpress so that's easy um but i have been thinking Today I have a port where I connect the air hose to the the wind chest, and of course, if I make like, of course I, I don't want to lose you here talking about cars, but for for diesel cars, you, <laughs> they have the common rail system where you have a lot of injectors injecting um, diesel into the engine, but there is like a common chamber where all the pressurized diesel is if i understand this correctly and then every valve just opens up and let diesel out from that common rail system and i was thinking the same here if i have like one tube that all the um, the ballows are blowing into because then i just need a very short connector piece from that and onto the the port of the the wind chest and of course now uh having a 3D printer, making all those complex parts is going to be easier. So that's the, the final drop that I just realized, all right, that, that's the tool I now need. So, And of course, adding to that, I can make more complex parts, so then I am allowed to make a more complex solution. So I, I might have shot myself in the foot without thinking <laughs> <laughs> too much. <laughs> You've got a 3D printer? Yeah. For how long? <laughs> Uh, an hour, I think I, uh, <laughs> I I got a message that it has arrived, so I picked it up after uh, school. Um, so yeah, I have uh, started taking it out of the box, but I haven't gotten all the way. So you did you did make me laugh yesterday when you said that we've got a surprise to talk about on the podcast tomorrow. Like, <laughs> I think did you forget that you told us you were buying one on Friday? <laughs> Yes. Did you? <laughs> it did. I don't remember that. But then again, uh, I was preoccupied on Friday. Neither did I. Well, I, I wasn't sure if I, I of course, I, I remembered talking about it, but I mean, I, I talk about buying tools all the time, so I thought, well, yeah, thanks. yeah, I mean, he does yeah. talk about buying them, but never buys them, so yeah. Um, yeah, no, the, the Friday morning from the bridge talk was. I'm getting into work early. I'm going to buy a 3D printer today. I've got a bit more time to do it. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> then yesterday, guess what I'm going to buy? A uh, 3D printer? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> do you actually remember what we tell you? <laughs> I'm afraid yeah. I do. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's scary on a totally different level. <laughs> so, yeah. And so you haven't switched it on yet? No, I, I, mean, I it's, it's not completely out of the box yet. So uh, I'm still pulling the safety pins and tape and removing foam and cardboard from it. So yeah. So what kind was it? Oh, it's the Bamboo Lab. Uh, all right, let me see. Uh, PS1. P1S. <laughs> so I, I mean, I have been wanting one for a long time and. 
I did not. All right, sorry, I need to cough. <coughs> I just edit that out or don't. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I was just looking at some videos, and then, and then I think it was a super fast Matt who said that if you're ever wanting to get a 3D printer, now's the time. And he had the best sales pitch ever because he he's not into 3D printers. You just want them as a tool and it's like yes I, I would like to have the products that they make but i don't want to tweak and program and spend 50 hours on adjusting and buying separate uh, parts and so on before it works as it should it, it's like a hammer I'm, I'm i'm not into hammers but i do like them uh, when i'm hammering home nails so it's the same here and he showed some examples with very good quality and they have now the i think they reached that cross point between price and quality where i thought i just all right now i need to take the plunge because i can still sit on the fence for several years until the quality goes up and the price goes down but at some point i need to start using it to learn the ropes and yeah now i have some projects coming up where it's really nice to be able to make some more complex parts and when he just shows the the quality of some of the parts and of course uh, you can make them that they also have some structural integrity it's like i bought one so nice. here we are how many kilos of filaments have you got with it i bought four kilos um four different colors because i got the combo one so you actually have the this the stack system of four different colors, so you yeah. can actually do multicolor Ooh. prints as well. Uh, and of course, I was hoping that they sent some filler with the the package, but I could not find any information on that on the web page. So I bought four separately. And of course, when I opened the big box and pulled it out, in the bottom of that big box, there there was four rolls of filament. So I now have eight rolls of filament in various colors <laughs> and quality. So yeah, it's a decent starter kit. Yeah, nice. It's one big bench you can build, then, isn't it? <laughs> like Emily the engineer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad she did that because I'm not sure if it is because I I am a well educated within boat building, but. I really hate that boat. I don't. I don't want that to be my first project, and I. I have really been thinking about. I. I never want to build that boat. So, I was thinking, what can I build instead as the first project, just to make a video out of it? And uh, yeah, you should so, build a proper boat instead, as a, as someone who knows boats. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. isn't a boat. I wouldn't use I'll a three D printer boat. for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, I, I could, but then again, it wouldn't be as good as video as uh, Emily's video anyway. So I think that oh. she she nailed the the boat thing. So yeah, yeah do Got something else. <laughs> so KJ, what have you been up to? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> a lot of barfing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I feel like since last we recorded, because we've got uh, what is it called? Stomach disease? Is that? What do you call it in English? A, a tummy bug. Tummy bug, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, because that was something they were handing out left, right and center at school, apparently. But tummy <laughs> bug, that that's uh, that's too cute of what is actually going on. Yeah. I mean, it's it's mayhem in all openings. I mean, that's tummy yeah. bug is really not selling it. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it's really great as well because my wife was away on a, a company trip. Uh, so Thursday night, uh, the oldest he complained, ah, my my stomach hurts. But yeah, it will be better when you, if you sleep. And I put him to bed, and then I did some other stuff. And when I went to bed myself and check on the kids, he was just lying there in a pool of his own vomit, <laughs> like a, like a wet noodle, more or less. Okay, <sighs> off with him to the shower and uh, and all the bedclothes, uh, washed them off barely, and in the washing machine like. Two hours later, I finally got some sleep, and yeah. So I mean, Friday was pretty nice. I more or less sat with him on the sofa, um, me playing Zelda, and <laughs> trying to make sure to catch all his vomit in a in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so he he was kind of okay uh, Friday night. 
and then uh, sun, uh, Saturday morning, the youngest started spewing. Uh, luckily, that was in the morning, so <laughs> he didn't have that much to throw up. Um, then my, my wife was home, so she, she caught the worst of that. <laughs> but I was, then I was taking care of him, and then uh, uh, Saturday evening, it was my turn. But, I mean, the kids, they more or less sprung back after, like, a day or something like that. Yeah. I'm still not <laughs> 100%. I mean... Uh, I, I'm I'm not feeling ill anymore, but the uh, the energy levels are at the floor more or less. So yeah, and for for those of you who are listening here and uh, don't see the footage, um, KG is recording from the toilet this episode. So uh... <laughs> <laughs> luckily, he's only filming the top half. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with a left hand on the mute button. Yeah. yeah. So I had I had big plans uh, for the weekend, and I, I remember even telling you that oh yeah, if, when I feel better, I probably edit some video. But I mean, I wasn't even in the shape to watch YouTube videos on on Sunday, wow. more or less. Try to edit <laughs> them. So yeah, it was a wasted weekend all around. But it is. It is sad because uh, it's not that long ago since I was out myself and uh, with the eldest kid. And of course, when, when you're both sick and you spend these quiet days just laying on the couch, uh, eating whatever you can muster to eat uh, to get some energy levels up, and it's it's kind of cozy until you get to that point where the kids are bouncing <laughs> back enough that they are. <laughs> don't want to sit in the couch anymore because they are up and about and they have their energy levels back up. But of course, it's, it's still a... I mean, if you have uh, the stomach bug, they have like a 48 hours quarantine before they want them back in kindergarten. Yeah. And that means that those 48 hours after they don't have symptoms, they are at 100%. You're not. <laughs> and they then have uh, like they want to go outside and do things now we have to still uh, i mean they are up and down the walls and you're just sitting there like, oh can't you just i mean <laughs> sit peacefully for like two minutes please <laughs> and you're only eating half a banana where do you did you get the energy to run around the entire house yeah <laughs> But also, yeah. I mean, it's it's not the scenario that you want. I mean, waking up by someone like that. <laughs> <That's>, uh... <laughs> but sometimes I'm also kind of proud because me and my wife, we, we are winging a lot of things. And of course, we are not running the tightest of ships uh, at any given time. But when that happens... We are like a well-oiled machine. I mean, once that alarm bell goes off, it's all hands on deck and we are coordinated. Sheets off, kids in the bathroom, washing machine on, like clean the mattress and everything because, I mean, you, you can't really just bring the kids into your bed after you just host them down <laughs> and, all right, we deal with that in the morning because you can't sleep knowing that that is waiting for you. So it's like, all right, we're going to clean this up. So it's like a, like a crime scene cleanup crew. I think they would be <laughs> proud of us. I mean, yeah, we would hire those two because... <laughs> That's true. I mean, those who clean up after murderers and that sort of thing, those are probably parents. <laughs> <laughs> bar, bar for side, KJ, you did get a little bit of making done. Yeah, yeah, on the... On the um... On the Saturday before I got uh, got it, I, I, I actually mentioned to because because that was something I needed to get done. Uh, made a leaf catcher for the drain outside the workshop, so I don't uh, repeat. I think it was last year when I flooded the workshop twice because the drain was uh, covered with leaves right. outside. <laughs> and that was not funny, so I thought I'd try to do something about it at least. And you did also make something I was very interested in. Are you ready to tell the world about that yet? Or? Did I? What did, did I do? You made the camera holder, the phone holder. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought that was a genius idea. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, that was also my, my, my plan to actually try it out a bit more, but I haven't had a chance to. Um, uh, so, yeah, that was that weekend gone. Uh, no, I, uh, I got the idea to... Uh, to use a microphone stand as a camera holder uh, f 
because when you don't have a big big camera to 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 film with uh, uh, I mean a, mi uh, a mobile phone doesn't weigh more than a microphone so that works rather nice to have uh, as a, in, a, in a microphone stand and I mean my uh, my tripod does not reach the the ceiling uh, which this microphone stand easily does but uh, I still have some more testing to do uh, because it gets kind of wobbly if you extend it uh, as far as you can so I maybe you need some kind of counterweight I don't know I have to try it out some more but preliminary tests are are looking good at least yeah I'm very interested if, if you don't break your phone within the next week or two I'm, I'm in I'm going to make one of these <laughs> definitely <laughs> yeah I don't think it's a, it's a risk of of losing the phone but you might lose footage if it's bad I mean I did try it with um, one of those um, the like the arms for uh, for a desk lamp the ones oh, who yeah. are in uh, the angle poise ones yeah that, may, that may, might be what they're called uh, that you can position uh, I had one of those that were made to hold uh, a tablet I think it was for, I mean, for, for reading in bed or something like that. And you can adjust the arm. And I thought, oh, yeah, this could be great to, to adjust the camera anywhere. But that thing wobbled like crazy. So, yeah. it, I mean, it was shaking for like a minute until it... <laughs> so if you, if you push record on the phone, then, yeah, okay, I have to wait for it to, to stop. Because otherwise you got seasick from that footage. <laughs> I, did, and, I, did uh, the, I did the same. So I, I just unscrewed uh, the phone mount on the end of that holder and I threw it away. It was useless. Yeah. <laughs> if you stand anything on your workbench or clamp anything to the workbench, as soon as you touch the workbench, it's wobbling anyway, isn't it? Yeah. 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 We, we will try that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to balance tripods on pieces of wood as they're going through the table saw as well in the past. That doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> an interesting idea all the same <laughs> i mean you, you do have some uh stability function on the most cameras today but <laughs> it's a certain yeah, yeah but that that can come limit. back that can come back and bite you as well i don't remember what video it was when i was using both the table saw and my small uh, uh belt sander when i started the camera it was trying to focus on either the saw blade or the belt, which makes it go wobble, 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 wobble. Uh, yeah. Total shaking because it was trying to catch up with something that was moving really fast. So it, it I mean, it stabilized when something else got in the picture, luckily. But before that, uh, you got motion sickness from watching that video because it was, it was trying its best and failing miserably. <laughs> I've actually had some problems with my camera lately and I noticed it when I was filming outside because it, it's like it zooms in for like a percent and then back out again really fast. So at the edges, you see that it's like going in, out, in, out. And once you notice it, it's really annoying. And I thought it was something about the light settings or something, but now I also see it inside the workshop sometimes. And I don't know what the effect or the problem is called, so trying to Google it. And of course, when you're calling it uh, wobbly or uh, whatever, I mean, they just show you all the articles on, yeah, on the Sony such and such, you uh, can turn on the uh, auto stability function here. And I, no, I don't want to see videos on that. I want to, but it's a very specific problem that I don't think many people have. And then like, God damn it, I, I can't even make the internet understand what I'm looking for <laughs> and I don't know anyone I could ask that like a, is a professional or maybe even you you have to know Sony specifically so of course I could, I could send them an email but I feel dumb not <laughs> even knowing how to describe it's not an autofocus thing or going in and out like that I don't know no, I'm not. I'm not sure. And of course, I was thinking, I can. I'm basically on full manual now, but it has the autofocus function. So if you walk a bit back and forth, it can actually follow you. And I was thinking, all right, I could go full manual and just set the. 
uh, the focus because if if i go back to the workshop to get something I, I don't need him to follow me you can just be out of focus and come back in and it might even be a good effect but the screen is not big enough to see if you are a hundred percent in focus or not it can like on the screen it yeah, yeah this looks good but when you get it on the big screen and with 4k and everything and fuck this is not a focus i mean if you're been recording for a couple of hours and you ruined all that footage that is uh that is frustrating so now i've been thinking all right should i get this external like bigger screen to mount on but yeah i have i'm struggling enough moving the tripod around as is if i'm not gonna have like a screen attachment to it and of course i've been thinking that i need more lights as well so Maybe I should just say it's it's fine, it's good enough, and then yeah, just get a new camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Sounds anyone so uh, anyone want to use a? Uh, I can't I can't say it's uh, gingerly used, although it is. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, there are some spots on the lens from the angle grinder, but it doesn't show up on film, luckily. And yeah, it's a. Uh, the lens cover is somewhere, and yeah, it's, it's, it's fallen down a few times, so <laughs> maybe that's it. I don't know. Sorry, you just have to excuse me a second. One, two. Yeah, that's about enough. <laughs> Did he get the stomach bug? Is that is that the last you're going to see of him for two days? <laughs> might be, might be. Well, now we can look at his instruments at least. Yeah. He still hasn't made uh, any wall hanger for it. No, maybe that could be his uh, scrap wood entry. Yeah, that's that's a really good idea actually. Yeah, yeah, he can get that when he does the edit and listens to this. <laughs> exactly. You're welcome, Glad. <laughs> here we are fixing your problems, and you're not even here. Yeah, lazy. And then, as, as a pr as a prize, he could win some WD forty and use that in that door. Of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Did you need to powder your nose? No, the bloody dog stuck up, stood on the top of the stairs, barking his head off. That's all I can hear in the background. <laughs> we didn't hear anything. So. Oh, we thought it was a door, but it was a dog. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looked a bit, a bit squealy. Oh, oh the, the door is a bit squealy. Yeah. <laughs> it's been raining, so it swelled up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I also need to get some uh, some new lights for the for the workshop for filming because I realized that my lighting are it's it's pretty bad. Uh and now we're coming to the darker parts of the year and I will do more filming inside and I mean after seeing uh uh Fat Hogs uh, <laughs> last video, we had excellent light in a lot of parts of it. I really felt, yeah, I, I really have to bite the bullet in and <laughs> and uh, and get some new lights. Uh, yeah, the, and the worst thing is, I found some decent priced LED lights that doesn't flicker, so it shows up in video that are really good. But my problem is I don't have the ceiling height. So no matter how high I mount them, they will <laughs> still show up on camera. So of course, if I want these light, I will always have some annoying backlight. And of course, I, I, I couldn't be bothered to moving light around and then switching them off when I'm filming in this direction. I mean, it's enough moving all the equipment around and getting the work done if I'm not going to just unplug lamps all willy nilly as well. So maybe... Yeah. Maybe someone could make, like, you could have a sensor on your camera and you have a smart light system. It can know that, all right, the camera is filming in that direction, so I need to turn off lights 4, 7, and 8. So it, it would be automated. That would be nice. That Mellow, Mellow Labs, expensive. can you fix that? Thomas, please? <laughs> I don't think he listens to us anymore. No, maybe not. <laughs> Talking we'll, about... We'll tag him. <laughs> We should talk about Fat Hog's video, I think. Fat Hog Woodworking, Ross's video. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been um, I've been chasing Ross, trying to catch him up on YouTube for subscribers for a couple of months now. Yeah, how's that going? 
it was going really well last week. <laughs> the operative on... word here is was. <laughs> yep. Last week he was on 100, uh, sorry, 819 subscribers. And uh, I caught him up and matched him. And then I felt really good about that. And then the following day he lost a subscriber. So uh, I was I was one in the lead and then I felt really bad. And then a couple of days later he released a video but it's been a huge success. He got <laughs> he's got a, he's, I think he's got about a thousand and twenty subscribers now, so well done Ross. It was a really nicely <laughs> shot video. <laughs> so so he waited for you to catch up and then he kicked in the afterburner and left you in the dust. Exactly. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> As friends do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm certainly not bitter about it. It was a big congratulations. It's a big achievement to get to a thousand, so well done, mate. Yeah. But it was a nice little video as well. Yeah. I thought he's filmed it really well. Yeah. And I do wonder whether he upped his camera and his lighting because um a, a few of the previous videos looked like he'd filmed it on the camera that I tried to use <laughs> a while ago. <laughs> it's a little bit dark and a bit grainy. Yeah. But no, definitely upped his game. He uh, and you know, he's reaping the rewards now. I think that's nice. So I'm actually looking into getting exactly the same kind of lights that he got. He got. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was it. <laughs> Maybe you should build that table for the scrap wood build. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, where, where, hmm, yeah. It's good scrap wood is so hard to find. I don't know where everyone else finds good scrap wood. I mean, here is just shit pine. <laughs> That's the only scrap wood we can I find. I don't understand it. Underneath my bench is full of oak and teak and all sorts of things. Even some mahogany under there. Yeah, but is that scrap? Really? Well, it was the, the oak was torn out of a bathroom. The teak was a, a garden table that failed after a year after being bought. Yeah, but... That makes it scrap. Just because someone would throw it away doesn't mean that it's scrap. Well, in that, if that's the you case, didn't throw it away, <laughs> so actually, that, so it isn't scrap. Well, if that's the case, then no wood is ever scrap, is it? Because I would even bring wood home just to burn. Yeah, and if, if it's if it's scrap, <laughs> I mean, if if it's not scrap before you have thrown it away, you can't use it. I mean, then it's a catch twenty two, and you can never use scratch wood for anything for as long as you use it. It's not scrap wood. Yeah, you have to fill yeah. it full of epoxy to make it not scrap wood anymore. Yeah. But then it's not scrap wood anymore. <laughs> but but of course the, the, <laughs> now now we're now we're stealing content before the episode is out. But no, of course the episode will be out before this episode is out. I'm talking talking what? about the top to, the topics <laughs> on the bad audio ah, podcast. Okay. Where where do, where do you source your scrap wood? And. Uh, yeah, that's what we're, where, we, where we talked about it. Yes, now I remember. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, and of course, I, 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 I ranted on about uh, me finding it at uh, the local recycling plant and or I don't even remember what I said. But a third place is uh, Ikea. I mean, not at Ikea, obviously, but some furniture at Ikea is built out of beach which is a decent yes. wood to work with and i have realized that some of those furniture are so cheap to buy because of course ikea is buying large and so there is no resale value there so people are selling it for a, a few pounds or they're giving it away because they can't be bothered going throwing it away so Maybe once or twice a year, I go on an online marketplace and I like search for those items, and then I just set a circle like thirty kilometers around uh, where I live, and then, all right, I find five or six they're giving away, so I'm just sending them a message. Um, since you're giving it away, you can just leave it outside. I'll come and pick it up on Saturday, and I just plan my run in Google Maps and. I pick up a, a lot of like uh, diaper changing stations, uh, kids beds or whatever and uh, uh, shit wood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually scrap wood, yeah. <laughs> or crap wood. wood, yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah, I'm getting low on stock on that and of course uh, some of them have these um 
MDF backing boards that fit into this groove, but that groove is brilliant because if you're making picture frames or whatever, you don't even have to uh, <laughs> use your router to make a groove. It's already there and it's four millimeters. So that's the, the standard plywood thickness for, uh... so yeah, those are some really good materials. I made a lot out of that, <laughs> but of course it's, uh... I mean, if, if you want something very exotic, like teak or mahogany, it's not uh, <laughs> IKEA furniture you're looking to <laughs> score oh. the, the, the best scoop. But the old, old fashioned brown furniture here is really, really unpopular. And you can buy that for not much money, to be fair. Yeah. Or, or lots of people throw it away as well. But that's, oh, it, it's been popular and the price is going up. Of course, the seventies furniture is now oh, expensive stuff. again, but yeah. What I've realized is that some of that is just veneer as well. Yeah. And I mean, uh, yeah, of course it was expensive back in the day as well. So of course, if they have a, a chip or a ding in them, it's like, all right, there's some crappy wood. And of course the, I mean, it's not uh, the most expensive pedal organ, the one that I have, but I'm guessing in 58 or something when it was built, I mean, you had to be at least at some level with a disposable income to use money on it. So it wasn't cheap at that point. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's almost like a furniture piece. But when I started taking it apart, it's like, oh, it's the cheapest wood on the inside. And I was thinking, all right, but if you want it to stay in tune or not warp and move that, it is hardwood all the way through. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's it's covered in veneer or felt. So, uh, yeah, nothing to be sourced from uh, <laughs> dismantling it, I'm afraid. Hey, somebody joined the CMOs this week, the group. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And no. Uh, I don't... No, have you forgotten who it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was two, wasn't it? Was Sorry? it one? Was it two? Just, was it just, one? Just one. Just, just one. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> it was McGuff makes last week. Yeah. No, I know. I know who it is. I'm just pulling your leg, and of course, we have been waiting. I mean, we we gave him a hard time, didn't we? For what what took you so long? Well, he, he was messaging me, and I said, "Why haven't you joined the bloody group yet?" <laughs> 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 and he said, "Throw me in." I said, "I'm only joking. You don't have to join." He said, "No, no, I want you to. I want you to put me in the group." So. Welcome, homemade Marco. Eventually, welcome. So oh. we're we're bullying Will people. Common. Yeah, Will Common. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing a stereotype. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. But he's a he's a German living in Norway. So Will Common and hey hey, <laughs> that day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Choose. Perfect. No, that's uh, Austrian. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but are we bullying people to enter the group now? Is is that how we are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah whatever yeah. works. <laughs> yeah, whatever works. <laughs> Should make flyers and drive drive around in the <laughs> streets and oh, you wanna? <laughs> we'll join our gang. <laughs> yeah, the first the first one is free. <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> Why are you giving away for free, Oh. <laughs> no, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not the one who's. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the one who's been giving away free content all day. I mean, save some from the, for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were very chatty uh, in the group today. I feel you do. Well, you know that's that's why we have a group. There's no point in having a group if you're not going to participate, is there? Yeah, yeah exactly. true. true. <laughs> But I mean, having early onset al Alzheimer's, it feels sometimes, and then having uh, the bad audio podcast, and then the crudely mistaken ones, and then our group, and then uh, whenever we have a guest on, we have a, I mean, sometimes it's hard keeping trap on which group do I press record. And so there has been some instances where like, did you mean to post that on the other one? And of course, you 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 are uh, <laughs> in most of those groups. So you pick up on it, but the other people yeah. there are non device. They're like, "What the <laughs> fuck was he on about?" I don't know. 
Oh, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you what I got up to this week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it is Should it ha- is it main episode material or is it half pint? I was just about to say, let's head over to the half pint and talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> Get over to it, like we're going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, All right. I, so I move into another office. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time jump. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so let's do a pro forma ending of the main episode while we do <laughs> nothing at all and then we just continue <laughs> rambling on. All, all right. right. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and then... 20 seconds of silence to make it easy for the editor. Well, you've got, you've got to catch your breath, haven't you? <laughs>